White people, how do you feel uh, today after the verdict came down, the three verdicts came down in the Derek Chauvin murder case yesterday? Black people, how do you feel? Mixed emotions, right? Um, certainly mixed emotions for black folk, according to what I've been reading. Um, and mixed emotions, I think, also for white people who have finally gotten the message about what enslavement has been like for the past 400 years in this country. Um, there's no point in talking about my reaction or your reaction when the verdict was handed up by the, uh, by the jury in the Chauvin murder trial. Uh, for a lot of us, it was a uh, foregone conclusion that he would be found guilty. For a lot of us, it was a foregone conclusion that it would be a hung jury. For a lot of us, it was a foregone conclusion that Derek Chauvin would be found not guilty. So you obviously had to fit in one of those three groups. I paid very close attention to one Jason Johnson, Dr. Jason Johnson, I've been watching him on MSNBC for a long time. He's a political scientist. He's a commentator. He's a writer. Uh, he's the author. Associate Professor of Communication Journalism, Morgan State University. He got his uh, BA degree from the University of Virginia, his PhD from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Political scientist. Teaches at Morgan State University. And... I, I pay close attention to what Dr. Jason Johnson has to say. Because first of all, the manner in which he says it, he can make a point when he wants to without going through all the uh, uh, academic jargon that you hear from so many people who are professors or writers or what have you. Uh, not that that is necessarily bad, the ones who speak academic English. But Jason Johnson has the ability, at least for me, to reach me with very little effort. I just listen to him talk. And I've been listening to him for quite some time, and I listened to him yesterday. I listened to him as the good white people on MSNBC, the anchors, the people who were um, on the air as this uh, verdict was about to be read and subsequent to its reading. I listened to the good white people on MSNBC and the good white people on CNN um, talking about how justice had prevailed or this had happened or that had happened and maybe we'd reached a turning point and this and that and the other thing. And then it was Brian Williams' turn to ask Jason Johnson, if he shared in the optimism, and Johnson said no, absolutely not. Jay Johnson last night, as he's referred to on MSNBC, expressed his unwillingness to join the Hallelujah Chorus because one man, one white double had been found guilty and had been forced, forced to take responsibility for his actions against a black person. One white cop. So was justice served with the verdict? Um, no, no, it wasn't. Responsibility was handed to uh, Derek Chauvin he had to take responsibility for his actions with uh, what is probably going to be uh, a prison term. Of course, we won't know for two months, will we, when the sentencing occurs? 
And of course, his uh, lawyers are going to file an appeal and yada, yada, yada. Oh, which brings me to yesterday's bonus for our, our subscribers to this podcast. Yeah, it was a minute and a half. And I do apologize for that. But just as I was about to start with the bonus segment, um, I got the flash, like most people got the flash from CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, that the jury was being called back into the room, into the courtroom because they had reached a verdict. And I just had to apologize and go watch this as it occurred in real time. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, I agree with Jason Johnson that the verdict on all three charges against this rogue killer cop meant nothing in, the ter in terms of justice. He was forced into being held responsible for the murder of a man in the middle of the street in the middle of the day. I want to share with you um, something written by Monique Judge. She's the news editor at TheRoot.com. You may have heard Jason Johnson talking about TheRoot.com. I think he's the uh, associate editor there or one of the founders or something. But if you haven't visited that website, TheRoot.com, you should. I'm talking, I'm talking to white people now because I'm sure most black folk know about theroot.com. But if you are European American, I hate using the word white. If you're European American, I strongly recommend theroot.com. You will, uh, you'll discover some things you're not gonna find at cnn.com or msnbc.com or newyorktimes.com, yada, 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 yada. Monique Judge is the news editor for The Root. Let me share with you, verbatim, it's very brief, what she wrote yesterday. Or maybe this morning, as a result of what happened yesterday. Derek Chauvin was found guilty of all charges for the murder of George Floyd. Black people rejoiced in the moments after the verdicts were announced because we had been holding our collective breath all morning afraid to hope for a guilty verdict and expecting Chauvin to walk. Chauvin didn't walk, so it's justice, right? Baby, what looks like justice is just accountability on an ordinary day. If there were justice, George Floyd would still be alive. If there were justice, cops wouldn't feel so comfortable committing murder on the job. If there were justice... Cops would face stiffer penalties for the unnecessary use of force. If there were justice, more cops would be held accountable. What looks like justice is just accountability on an ordinary day. The Chauvin case is an anomaly. One cop sacrificed at the altar so the criminal justice system can turn to black people and say, you happy now, bitch? They held this one accountable, finally. But he's one of many. There are too many who have not been held accountable, and that ratio is too damn high. The judge said Chauvin would be sentenced in eight weeks, but it is highly likely his legal team will appeal his guilty convictions, and they have 90 days to do so. In the meantime, what we are left with is a hollow victory, if you can even call it that, because around the same time the verdict was announced, a police officer in Columbus, Ohio, shot and killed a 16-year-old black girl. If there were such a thing as justice... That girl, Makia Bryant, and George Floyd would still be alive. What we got in the aftermath of George Floyd's murder at the hands of Derek Chauvin wasn't justice. What we got was accountability. It may feel like justice, but it's not. It's just one lonely brick on the unpaved road to justice.
Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.